Chucky has hit six or seven big shots in his career. There were no bigger shots uh, than the Purdue game. Five seconds to go. Chucky Hepburn, Big Ten on the line. Every kid dreams of hitting big shots on the big stage. And for me to be able to do that, you know, it's once a lifetime opportunity. Wisconsin wins the Big Ten. That's one of the greatest moments I'll ever have in my life. The shot that he hit was for Vincent, his god brother. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. We're a big sports city. Growing up, either we're going to play uh, baseball, football, or basketball, and I picked the basketball route. Vincent Burns, I was fourth grade when we first met. He played for a different AAU club, and we kind of just bonded over basketball. You know, that's how we became really close. And our families grew together, bonded so much that he asked my dad to be his goddad. He had his father in his life, not with the type of regularity um, because his uh, father's from Illinois. And so he just wanted someone to kind of step in to that daily void. And I was definitely open and willing to do it. After that, he started spending a ton of time at the house. Um, you know, they, like I said, instantly grew tight and, you know, that bond just continued to grow all throughout high school, even though they went to different high schools. Vincent helped instill a toughness and an aggressiveness in Chucky. Vincent had that in him from his environment and the things that he went through on a daily basis. For Chucky, he was able to apply it directly to the court, and it helped his skill that he had been honing for a long period of time. It helped him be able to apply it with a tenacity that he hadn't in the past. My godbrother was definitely very proud of me. My signing day was his birthday, so you know, to, for him to be able to come and share that moment with me on his birthday, Definitely loved him for that. He watched every game. Chucky Hepburn, terrific finish. When we won the Maui Invitational, he was the first person to call me. The last conversation I had with him was against Michigan State. He was telling me to be more aggressive and look to score more. So the day that I found out um, that Vince was murdered, um, I received a phone call. It was late and um, so from Vince's mom and something in my spirit just knew. And I braced myself before I answered it and she relayed the news to me, you know, um, of what had happened. And I just kind of sat down because I couldn't breathe. And um, didn't really know what to think, you know, was lost. Um, definitely thought that life was unfair, you know. He was one of my closest friends that I've had ever, so, you know, just didn't understand it, why he would, why it was him. There was an altercation at a bar outside of it, and one thing leads to another, and he was shot one time in his chest. For a while, I didn't know what to feel, what to think, didn't know if the news was true, you know. I don't, didn't know if I was in a dream, you know. Never knew this day would really come. Um, you know, it was just a hard time for me, you know. Really, the whole week, I, I struggled the whole week.
The next game that he had was coming back to um, play it down in Lincoln. In talking to him, he didn't know if he'd be able to play. He didn't know if he'd have the energy. He didn't know if he would be able to compete. But as we talked through some of the stuff, and as he knew already prior to, Vincent wouldn't have wanted him to not play in the game. I know I had to go out there and play for Vincent Burns. He was supposed to be at the Nebraska game, but I just felt that he was with me. When his first three fell. Three to shoot, and Hepburn hits. How about that, Trent? That's a great sign for him. You know he's got so much on his mind, on his shoulders right now. Watching him run down the court and pointing to Vincent. To know that Chucky was interacting with Vince's spirit, you know, throughout the course of the game. And that his big brother was helping him in ways that he always had. Be more aggressive, play your game, do the things that you typically do. It kind of all came back full circle. Even though we had this huge hole in our heart, this significant loss in all of our lives, being able to be back around family and being able to be back in the area that he's accustomed to, it just meant a lot to all of us. I do know that Chucky plays for Vincent. The bond that they had from having Vincent as a god brother help him to be able to go out and do the things that he does. Your time has gone by. Still no um, justice for Vince's murder. This one year anniversary, you know, it's definitely tough for me. Life goes on so fast, you know, you don't really have time to stop and think about what actually happened. And you know, there's times I still don't feel like it's real. You know, it's still all a dream. Going to Nebraska is definitely a great feeling every time. Get to see some family back home that I haven't seen in a while. There's nothing better than that. He's able to play in front of his home crowd, people that know, love, and support him. Knowing that he has an opportunity to step on the court and do the thing that he loves, that Vincent loved as well, too, I think that he carries part of that with him in his heart and in his spirit as he continues to compete. His mom will be there supporting and definitely will feel it. 408 left to the half, 24-21 Wisconsin. Now throwing to Hepburn, left wing against Demarcus Lawrence. Baseline left, fade away, up that little back step and he hits it. 15 on the shot clock, Hepburn off the foul screen. Chucky a step back, left wing jumper, good and we're tied. Tight game for the Wisconsin Badgers. Eight on the shot clock. Hepburn left to the center circle. Game clock is at five. Hepburn with three to shoot. Chucky, deep three, straight on. Off the rim, no good. We're going to overtime. Walker against Klesman. Size advantage. Walker turns up left hand. Rolls in for Derek Walker. Four point lead, Nebraska. Nebraska will win it in overtime. Down 17 in the second half. The Huskers score back and then storm Wisconsin in overtime en route to a 10-point win.